In this video, we learn how to calculate percentage change, and we'll also see how to recognize when we're dealing with a percentage gain or a percentage loss. And to do that, we're going to work through the example that we see here, for which we're told a store owner changed the prices of two of his products, product A and product B, and they're changed as follows. Product A changed price from $80 to $100, and product B changed price from $80 to $75. And we need to calculate the percentage change for each product and state whether it's a percentage gain or a percentage loss. Well, first of all, the good news is whether we're dealing with a percentage gain or a percentage loss, both of them are just percentage changes. And the formula for percentage change is the following. Let's see, I'll write it in the lower right-hand corner of the screen here. And I'll write percentage change, percentage change, is equal to the final value, which I'll just write capital F, capital V, minus the original value, which I'll write capital O, capital V, and all of that's written over the original value, which again is capital O, capital V. And in fact, I'll write that underneath here, capital F, capital V is the final value and capital O, capital V, is the original value. Original value. There we go. Okay, now I'll go ahead and box that formula. Do make a note of this. This formula is the percentage change formula that we'll need to know. Indeed, with this, we can answer this question. And I'll do so by calculating the percentage change of the price of product A. And I'll just write that here. I'm dealing with product A, product A, and since product A changed its price from $80 to $100, that tells us that the $80 we have here is the original value or the original price, and the $100 would be the final value or final price. Consequently, using the formula we have over here, we can go ahead and state that the percentage change for the price of product A, and I'll just write percentage change, is equal to, well, let's see, I'll remind myself of the formula first of all. So that's final value minus original value divided by original value. And so that turns into 100, which is the final cost of the product, minus 80, which is the original cost, divided by 80. Now, if we're allowed to use a calculator, then we type all of this in and calculate this in one go. On the other hand, if we're not allowed to use a calculator, then we'd simplify this as much as possible. And I'll do both. I'll start with my calculator. With my calculator, I need to type 100 minus 80. So that's the numerator here, and I do so inside a pair of parentheses. So if I quickly type that, that's 100 minus 80 inside a pair of parentheses. I exit the pair of parentheses, and now I divide that by 80. And so I type divided by 80. And I'm happy with that, and I click on Enter. And so I can see that 0.25. And so that's with a calculator. On the other hand, if we're not allowed to use a calculator, then I would start by calculating 100 minus 80, which would be 20, so that's 20 over 80. And now I'll seek to simplify this fraction as much as possible. And looking at this numerator and this denominator, we realize that 20 is a common factor to them both. And that tells us that we can rewrite this as 20 times 1, over 20 times 4. And so cancelling out that common factor of 20, we're left with the percentage change which equals to 1 over 4, which is equal to 0 0.25, which is clearly the same answer as what we found with the calculator. And in fact, I'll quickly write percentage change here. Percentage, percentage change. Okay, now the final step is to write this decimal as a percentage. And for that, we focus on the hundredth position of this number. Remember, the zero corresponds to the units, the two corresponds to the tenths, and the five we have here corresponds to the hundredths. So this 0 0.25 means 25 hundredths. And since percent is just another word for hundredths, this 0 0.25 is equal to 25%. And that's the percentage change. But remember, we were asked to specify whether we're dealing with a percentage gain or with a percentage loss. 
And the simple rule is, if the value we obtain is positive, which it was here, 0 0.25 is positive, then we're dealing with a percentage gain. On the other hand, if the value we get is negative, then we'll be dealing with a percentage loss. And so this 25% corresponds to a 25% percentage gain. Now it's worth pointing out that when we calculate a percentage gain as we have here, what we're actually calculating is the percentage by which the original value has been increased. In other words, this percentage gain of 25% tells us that the original price of product A went through a 25% increase, which led to its final value or final price of $100. That being said, that's product A taken care of. And before I move on to product B, I should say, if ever you have trouble converting a decimal like we have here into a percentage, then a trick you can use if needs be is to multiply the decimal you have by 100. And that will give you the number you need to write in front of the percentage symbol. Indeed, you can go ahead and check, but if you multiply 0 0.25 by 100, you'll get 25. That being said, let's look at product B. Product B. Now, for product B, we're told that the price changed from $80 to $75. So in this case, the original value was again $80, but the final value, capital F, capital V, will now be $75. Consequently, the percentage change for this product's cost, and I'll just say percentage change, will again be equal to the final value minus the original value divided by the original value, and that will equal to 75 minus 80 over 80. And again, we can do that with our calculator. And when doing so, we need to make sure to type this entire numerator inside a pair of parentheses. So I'll do that here. That's 75 minus 80 inside a pair of parentheses. I exit the pair of parentheses, and I divide by 80, the original value. So let's type that. That's divided by 80. And I tap on Enter. And we're done. The percentage change for product B is equal to negative 0.0625. And again, I'll go ahead and write percentage change here. Percentage change. Finally, we need to express this result as a percentage or as a percent. And for that, we look at the hundredths position here. So we have the units, the tenths, and the hundredths. And since we have six hundredths here, this decimal is equal to negative 6.25%. And that's the percentage change. But now in this case, since we obtained a negative result, this percentage change corresponds to a percentage loss. And so I'll go ahead and write that. This percentage change is a percentage loss. And so putting this into context, the price of product B was decreased by 6.25%. On the other hand, the price of product A was increased by 25%. So a percentage gain corresponds to an increase in value, and a percentage loss corresponds to a decrease in value. And this formula is how we can calculate them. And there we go. That's it for this tutorial.